CFR Network, CFR News, Shalom, Balance, Paradise, Righteousness, All, Niha, Good Day, Wassalam, all of those universal greetings. Trustly, everybody as well. We back, returning guest. I got the sibling with me, a very special sibling. <laughs> He's got some masterful works um, that has been released very uh, recently. I welcome none other. So, Rose, what's happening, boy? Blessings, family. Blessings. Every time, man. Every time. We had to, we had to, you know, the work that, that you, you, you're putting out, you know, it's, and also the times we're living in, I thought it'd be a, a perfect opportunity to bring you back, you know, mm. and to have that universal build. Yeah, word, man. Done, no, bro. It's a pleasure. I always got time for you, bro. You know, it's different, you know. <laughs> I like the way you say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the thing, man. You know, we we keeping it fresh, man. We keeping it, we keeping it um in the name of the most high. And you know, trustfully, we're gonna we're gonna touch some people in this one, man, and we're gonna give some, mm -hmm. some more food for thoughts. You know what I mean? Yeah, Mo. I don't know what you got planned, bro, but you know, I'm with you, man. I trust you. I know you ain't gonna set me up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, you don't know, man. We 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 keeping yeah, it, we're yeah, keeping man. it cool, man. We're keeping it on that 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 growth and development stage. So in mm. essence, actually, I said I thought that's a good place to to um to catch up on. Mm. Last time we was building, we had that uh, truth and culture. Mm. Word, yeah. So um, let's catch up from there, man. How how was that received? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know what, it was received well still. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess it wasn't as received as I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. um, but then in hindsight, maybe I could have done a lot more as far as in preparation, as far as promotion. Um, so, but overall, I think it was received well. Mm. Um, you know, a lot of the Caribbean Christian community loved it, you know, of and then a lot of the conscious, yeah, even the conscious people loved it. But the conscious, like the people, like, you know, a lot of the rest of them who, who don't subscribe to Christ. So, yes. um, you know, the rest of them who might have Selassie as God, mm -hmm. um, you know, they still loved, they still love the tunes. Do you yes. know what I mean? Um, even though you hear me saying Jesus in some of them. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I don't know, bro. Did it do, you know, it's up to God, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just make the music, I put the music Indeed. out. If God used that music and, you know, you know, they started to find out more about God from, you know, I don't know, a reggae track that because they was into reggae and culture. And then they heard so the Rose talking about Jesus and S instead of Selassie. And mm. I don't know, fam, how God works out his thing, but that's what it's all about, isn't it? Mm. I just make the music from whatever I'm going through at the time. And, and yeah, man, you know, <laughs> hope that God uses it to do whatever he's going to do, man. Um, other than that, I just like making music, innit? So, mm. Yeah. I'm going to try and make music. I'm going to try and put God in it, put the Bible in it or scripture in it um, and make it relevant and still try to make it sound good and sound, you know. Yes. Cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> the day I make cheesy music, bro, is the day I want everybody to, you know what I mean, slap me in the back of my head. Or, yeah, yeah, or, or, yeah. Or, Chastise you, man. Chastise you, man. Listen, just stop now. Stop now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you know what though, Sabin? I can't see a day when that's taking place, man. Because even from when you you was, you know, not on this 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 wavelength, you were still pushing some content, you know what I mean, which was waking people them up. So you 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 know, as as we as we alluded to on on build number one, build number mm. two, uh extracurricular builds, we're cut from different class sibling, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah word, word. That's real rap, class. That's real rap. So it's just it's just all about time. It's just about time and season, you know what I mean? And getting to get into the realization of like what time we're there in right now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man, it's 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 looking good, man. It's looking good. And I'm gonna tell you right now, man, from when I had that C D did did tumble through my uh, my letterbox. <laughs> right, man, a man's had that thing on repeat, sibling. Yeah, <laughs> All right. cool. 
Praise I, the Lord. I took Love out that. my MP3 that's got like maybe, I don't know, maybe like 79 tracks on it. I took that straight out. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, respect, bro. Thank you, man. Lord, you. I'm, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. And as, yeah, per, as per your question on the old IG, mm. And uh, as my response, I'm still feeling that I'm still there with that response. But uh, you know what? I'm really reeing up on a regular. I keep, I, every time I hear it, track number 10. Forgive you? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, bro. Amen, um, man. Yes, I'm <laughs> reading that one up. And the one with the little princess on there, the one that you had to <laughs> listen. Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. little vibes. The reggae, reg reggae ton run one as well. Mm, mm, mm. that's a different vibe still you know sibling and i can see that if that gets in the right hands in the in a, in a certain community i can see that getting pushed man and, and people really like yo who is this who is he speaking mm. of <laughs> you know yeah word word yeah well you know like i said bro man um well you see this particular project what we're talking about outside the box um mm -hmm. This is, <clears throat> I feel like with this project here, yeah, my whole life, as far as my musical career, has been leading up to this project. And I know that sounds like a big statement to me, but that's how much this project actually means to me. Um, just the collection of different sounds. And because if you listen to it keenly, um, we listen to it a few times over and over. It's like you get to understand, it's like some songs that you didn't really like, in the beginning end up growing on you because it's a part of the experience of the album if that makes sense so if you're listening from the album from the beginning to end you're going to hear a collection of different sounds different cultures different emotions and moods and all these things kind of like into one melting pot um and that's what I wanted this 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 thing to be, but it's with like a, a um, the experience comes with it as far as the journey journey yeah, um, yeah yeah as far as the spiritual and theological and artistic growth with you know because I got songs where I'm starting off with full set you know we sing the song we go. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, no one's expecting me to do that. You know it's what I'm saying? It's a grown man album. <laughs> it's a grown and, style sibling. You know, I'm rapping in patois. I'm rapping in an American accent. I'm singing a ballad. There's it, it so much different stuff going on. I'm doing a classic church song with, then I've got, a, you know, like in the in the break of that song, um, Name of the Lord, that the, the like yes. I can't do all things mm. power. In the, the break of that, like yes, you're hearing praise the Lord and hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's my granddad and my grandma and my mom and my dad, yeah, who is doing that. But that's taken from some footage, bro, from 1977. Right. Yeah. So there's so because you know, my dad's dead, my grandparents are dead, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And even at the end of lukewarm, um, we hear the person talking about um um that we can't be violent but we can be forceful as possible that's my dad that's my my dad my late dad talking um that i've got there at the end you know i've got my daughter on it who you know six months ago god healed her from a brain tumor and and you know she's cancer free but seven months ago she had a, a tumor the size of a golf ball in her head bro she's she's five years old now she was four then she was five last week so my dad died on Boxing Day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I started this album. My daughter was happy running around playing in school. My dad was happy he was alive, staying with me in my house when I started making this album. By the time I finished, my daughter had had a brain tumor removed and then had, had eight weeks of proton beam radiotherapy. My dad would have died and we would have buried him in the process of making this album. So, as well as the lyrics and stuff I had before, like when I, do you know what I mean? Because I already had something like 
20 songs or something within my head that I was feeling like I was going to use these songs. Yes. Yeah. Only out of them 20, I think maybe only about eight of those songs actually made it on. And then the rest of the songs was created. Uh, Do you get what I mean? That's why there's references of my daughter's Indeed. You know, thing in, in one of the songs. The Do you know what I mean? That's why there's things like that going on. So, yeah. What I'm... Um, uh, what did this up uh, like, bro? <laughs> I've been spamming everybody's WhatsApp, everybody's Instagram. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Download, pre order, share, da, 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 da. Um, only because, yeah, like, I truly, but like, even down to that, the last song where I'm offer a response, it's not even a song, it's like, you know, where I offer a response, it's like an invitation mm -hmm. to the faith, if you like, even that. Now, I'm never someone to run around saying, oh, the Holy Ghost said to me, the Holy Spirit said, and the Lord told me. So I'm not going to say that, yeah? But I did have a strong feeling and conviction in my spirit that I need to do something like that. I need to offer the listener some kind of response if they want to make a response and, and reach out in faith. You know, some people want to pray, they want to, make a connection to God and they don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? Um, years and years ago, I met a brother, um, just, just like just a normal brother who was a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I was like, right, so how did you become a Christian? Because he was just like from a normal family, who, his family was nothing to do with church and all of that. And he was the odd one out in his family. He was the only Christian in his family, you get me? So I was like, so like, why are you a Christian then? And he said, like, right, he heard the gospel from listening to some rap CD. And at the end, there was a call to faith. They, the, the, they call it, you know, the sinner's prayer. He said mm -hmm. the sinner's prayer on the CD. And then that's, he said, that's how he became a Christian. Then after that, he found some church and whatever, whatever. Now he's a Christian. So that always stayed with me. Um, that raw. Someone actually did that, and that's the power in the music. Mm. And that my man's, a, my man's a, a believer now; his life's changed now, and he heard the gospel for the first time on a hip hop CD. You get what I'm saying, bro? So um, within this, like, yeah, I guess the Lord brought that back to me and put it up, yeah, like, placed it within my heart to do that. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Which is why I did that still. And then even the beginning, how I set it up. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I just wanted it to be, yeah, bro. I just wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be just for nothing, just some songs. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Like, because we can do that all day, bro. Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah, point yeah, yeah. in an album. You know what See, I mean? what, you, what you did, what you did with that intro was set the, set the whole scene and the table. You know Thank what I mean? God. Thank God. That's what, I, that's what I wanted to do, bro. I was thinking of how, how, you know, because fam, we're coming from, we're coming from the era of you know, Biggie Smalls, those kind of hip hop mm. albums. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lauren Hill. Mm. You know, albums that it's like a movie. Yes. You put it in, and you have to listen to it from start to finish. Yep. Even, you know, even if later on once you're a, a, um, familiarized with the album, then you've got your favorites that you play. Indeed. But as soon as you get it, you have to listen to it from beginning to end. You know, like Jay Z, the Blueprint. Like, you know, Nas, I, like there's so many, fam, you know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. like, it's, it's like a movie. Every, it's, it's every song, every skit, DMX, it's dark and hell is hot. Do you know what I'm saying? If, like, fam, I'm just thinking, <laughs> I'm just thinking of hours that are coming back to me. Fam, <laughs> of, 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 I wanted it to be an experience. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, not just a bunch of songs. Um, so that's why I started it like that. And, and. Yeah, I mean, I guess just God just gave me the, the idea of doing that. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, I had, to, first of all, I thought like, I thought of it being um, two men in a cell. You get me? Because I knew I wanted a conversation. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking, how do you spark up the conversation? You know, well, you know, when you're banged up with someone, then more time you might be talking to the person. Mm. But, but then, um, yeah, for some reason, yeah, I kind of like, I, I don't know if you got, do you get what the beginning is? Where yeah. are we? Do you get where we are? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I thought- I Initially, well, let me say something. And initially, I thought you was just in a public place. Mm -hmm. 
cool. And then the yeah. more I started listening to it, I was like, no, 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 no. Okay, good. He's in a certain place, you know what I mean? Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fam. So I just had this, yeah, if we're on a plane, you know, we're on a, on a flight, you sit next to someone. So, you know, the scenario is for someone who's listening, you know, with your eyes closed, you know, hi, bro, I think I'm sitting next to you. You know, I've come to the, I've come to the, to the seats. He's like, ah, oh, you saying, bruv, nice to meet you. My name's Oli. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm sitting down now. I'm taking out my Bible. My man sees my Bible. Like, oh, okay, is that a Bible you got? He's looking at me, isn't it? Like Rasta man sitting yes. down. I'm taking out a Bible. Oh, is that a Bible? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Bible still. What you say? You, you know what I'm saying, bro? And mm. then the dialect starts, you know, and, you know, I'm like, okay, do you want to know more? And he's like, well, we're not going anywhere. And then you hear, bing, bong. That's like the seatbelt sign. Yes. The journey started. Yeah. yeah. And then we go into the bars, conversation with them. I've got love for the people. And then it's like, I just told a story and even the second song with boris johnson jesus christ it kind of like flow everything flows very much you so. know what i mean mm-hmm. and then it just, it just flows beautifully i thank the lord even for that for the way that the tracks are compiled because it does take you on a journey it starts off like hard and dark almost and and greasy and then it gets kind of chilled and and, and, and mellow and then it gets kind of meaningful and, and deep and kind of even romantic kind of and then it gets do you know what I mean it's, it's a journey and then in the end it's like by the end you're crying your eyes out <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> um, and that's that's like the journey of what I wanted to bring the listener on so right now it's just with, with this album it's just my prayer I mean it's been respond- it's been re- received beautifully like praise the lord um you know if i'm totally honest the big platforms haven't picked it up yet like the big christian platforms Mm. um haven't picked it up yet like the biggest radio station ain't picked it up and you know the biggest universal one um hip-hop christian hip-hop platform ain't picked it up but i guess it's not just hip-hop you know there's there's a lot of other sounds in it it's you know what i mean Mm-hmm. Um, it's a different kind of out, it's outside the box <laughs> like Very much so. you know I mean even the name you know what I'm saying there ain't really any and then I'm yeah I'm not even trying to blow my own like I know it's a good album innit? I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet yeah okay I know I can rap cool safe this isn't really even this is deeper than rap it's I just believe this is from God because I believe this whole thing is from the whole album is from God I believe the lyrics the Holy Spirit, I believe, inspired me to write the lyrics. I just been like, yeah, bro. The whole journey, everything I've been through on the process of making this album, you know, I've never gone so hard in an album. I've never, you know, some of these songs, uh, I've gone back and I've changed lyrics, I've corrected lyrics, and where before I just think, sure, you know what I mean? Mm. I really paid attention to detail with this. You can even, tell. You, Bro, bro, I'm glad you can tell. Thank you. <laughs> now, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Not even just glad on the lyric, on the lyric side, on everything you're talking about, on the the journey of the album. It's 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 you. You go from one place to a next. You, there's a myriad of different emotions. Um, the production and the style of it. As I said, it, it's it's a grown man's album. Mm. It's a big word. big man thing. You know what I mean? Word, 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 word. One of my brethren said, I set myself up, car. Any other album I make now has to be like that or better. <laughs> so, I mean, it's I possible, man. It's more than possible. What, listen, yeah, yeah. At, since you've made this standard of material, you, mm. you know what, what it took to, to, to create and to produce this year. So, mm, you know, yeah, you, you got the formula. Well, we thank God and we see, we'll see what happens. See, the thing is now, what I'm praying and why I'm because <clears throat> bro, when I put out the album last week, I, I, I had a sense of relief, like, <sighs> like almost like, yeah, that's it, it's over now, it's out. Mm. But then I just woke up and realized it's not even over, it's just starting. Like, because now I really gotta promote it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the thing is, I don't have a team. 
I don't have any team around me helping me promote or helping me really do anything. You know, praise God. I've got a little GoFundMe. People give donations if and when they can. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everybody who sponsors me in that respect. But I ain't got no one copying and pasting and reposting and sharing and emailing and <laughs> bro, do you know what I mean? And then hey, hey, let me correct you on that, sibling. Mm. Uh, anytime you send me something, anytime I see yeah, you, yeah, right? yeah. No, hey, come on. <laughs> Praise God for the family. Praise God for the family. You get me? But what I mean is on an industrial scale, yes, my brother. Exactly. I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I'm saying, bro. Mm. Um, whereas some other artists do have that. Yeah. Which, you know what I mean? Yeah, praise God. So, um, yeah, but I don't. So it's, 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 I'm not complaining that it's difficult. I'm just saying that it's easy to get, to just to get lazy and just to think, sure, this is long. This is too much. Your flesh gets involved. You feel yes. proud, proudful. Like, oh, I'm really asking my man to share my video. And whatever. Child, my man should know to share my video. And, you know what I'm saying? All of those kind of feelings will come into your mind. And, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's battling all those things as well as the physical time of spending time on your phone or on your computer, whatever it is, you know, copy and paste, writing little messages to people, sending videos, email. Like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I got, you know, I'm married with four children. You know what I'm saying? I've got a household I'm running. I've got a job. I've got, yes. you know what I'm saying? I've responsibilities. Got, I've got responsibilities. I serve at my church. I do other, other stuff online. I do Bible study online. When I do Bible study, I'm preparing all day for that mm. Bible like people don't know they see me on the internet and, doing now, the Bible study yeah. and they think I'm on there just talking what I feel like yeah I actually sit down and study to of do course. that but, you know what I mean I'll be of sitting course. down five six hours studying fam mm. to teach what I'm teaching at the Bible study so you know but I'm, I'm glad you said that though simply you know, because sometimes Sometimes when when I when, when I I'll speak for the listeners as well and the and the viewers on your YouTube Sometimes the way you, you you articulate it, it's like you're just speaking and you'll just grab one or two things here. It's it's very, very natural the way you do it. Praise God. We thank God still. But I guess that comes with just, you know, looking at it and being familiar with it. Mm. And, you know, it's nothing to do with, it's nothing to do with me being clever. I'm not clever, guys. I left school when I was 14. You know what I'm saying? I have no education. I didn't go to college. I didn't go to university. I'm dyslexic, yeah? I know how to read, I know how to write, I know how to add, subtract, and divide, and multiply. Yeah, I know the basics. <laughs> Praise God, it's carried me thus far until where I am right now, um, and I thank God for it. So it's nothing to do with me being clever, because I'm not. It's nothing to do with me being academic, because I'm not. It's just to do with me having a respect and interest in God's word. You know what I mean? And And just trying to do my best to to yeah do my best trying to do my best by that you know what I mean and because really if I'm if I'm not taking it seriously I'm only cheating myself mm. you know what I'm saying <laughs> really because what am I in it for you know what I'm saying if I don't want to know it fully properly correctly what am I in it for? For just some some gut gushy, fluffy feeling. That's exactly or, the you know thing, I mean? sibling. A lot of people are in it for that. <clears throat> then know, the... that's, the, that's the wrong reason to be in it for, mm. man. Totally. Pardon self. It, 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 it's, it's amazing. But, you know, trustfully, uh, again, in, in the tumultuous times we get in and we were, we're, we're um, unfortunately experiencing, the penny has to drop at some point. Mm. And a lot of people are now, a lot of people who were these quote unquote new ages and stuff, they're mm. now, whether they use the title age of Christian or whatever, they're fully in that manuscript, mm. fully mm. in that thing and the mm. extra biblical text as well. Yeah, there's a lot of people searching right now. Mm. Um, it's real because it's real, isn't it? And, um, you know, what you got to do is open your eyes to see that it's real. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, the problem that I have with, with, with our community is, you know, we're always looking elsewhere, you know what I mean? Like, the truth is, is there, yeah. you know, but we're always looking sort of outside. And, you know, a lot of us grew up in, in whether we want to say Christianity, Rastafari, 
spirituality. Mm -hmm. A lot of us grew up seven day Adventists, whatever it is. Yeah. A lot of us grew up, whether it's our parents or our granny or our God, someone, Godmother, someone, we had some kind of Bible influence on us. However light it was, you could have even been a Jehovah's Witness mm. kind of thing. Yeah. But I believe us within the African Caribbean, whether we say it's because of colonial colonialism or not, yeah, we come from an essence where we know the God of Israel, yeah, or we know of the God of Israel. That's the God who we know of, the God of the Bible, the God yes. of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, mm -hmm. you know. However, we see that through the law and the Ten Commandments, or we see it through Christ or Jehovah, or do you get what I mean? Yes. Or Jah, you get me? But, you know, all of us, or not all, I can't say it all, or even Catholicism, yeah? Um, a lot of us come from an es essence where we, we will know, like, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. We will know things, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, um, who God bless no man curse. And we will know little things. We don't even know how we know them. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is, we all have come up within the essence of the truth, yeah? Now, sometimes it's, a lot, it's, it's vague, it's, it's hidden within some of these cults, like I mentioned, Chris, um, Jehovah's Witnesses, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, it's vague, but there's, there's truth in there, but it's vague. So what I'm trying to say is a lot of us come from the truth, but we look outside of it and we're looking to comedic gods, Mm. or we're looking to Greek gods, or we're looking to, um, you know, the law of attraction, or we're looking to, you know, ourselves as God, we are God. It's you, know I mean? <laughs> you see that law of attraction thing, right? And all of these new age, the secret and all of this sort of, mm -hmm. it, like, you can correct me, like, but uh, to me, a lot of that stuff seems like it's just remixed out of the manuscript, man. And taking yeah. taken the onus away of actually, like, of course you've got to do the work, but yeah. there's certain things you need to do and there's certain reverence you need to give. And that's the yeah, connection. Exactly. And that is the connection. And that's why it's dangerous because you're not, you're not giving the worship. You're not going to the, you know, like, Christ said he has living water, yeah, you know, you see, he said to the woman at the well, if you knew who you was talking to, you'd ask me and I would give you living water, if you knew the gift of God, which is eternal life, yeah, he doesn't say which is eternal life, he says, if you knew the gift of God, you would be asking me for water and I would give you living water, yeah, so it's Christ, isn't it, it's the substance, you know, to the glory of God the Father. So God has to get the glory. So when we do the law of attraction and we're doing other things that is directed, like, you know, blocking the glory to God, it's not, it's not giving the glory to God, mm -hmm. it's giving it in whatever you're doing, your works. So really, it's, you, you're giving yourself the glory. So really, it's self-idolatry. That's what the law of attraction is because the law of attraction puts it all on you in it. It's what you put out to the universe and what you, or whatever, how it goes. But it takes God out of the equation. Exactly. Yeah, and when we're not worshiping the most high God, by default, it's satanic worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what Lucifer wants to be worshiped. Lucifer was thrown out of, of, of heaven. If you believe the, the biblical account, because he wanted to be God. He wanted to be worshipped. When Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days and he was fasting and Satan come and tempted him, mm -hmm. what did Satan say? Satan Look, said, "Yeah, <laughs> I'll give you all of this. If you all want. of what you can see, all the physical. If you, <laughs> if you, if you worship me. Exactly. Satan Damn. wants to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the problem with the law of attraction with whatever else that they're doing because these days that is the problem with anything else outside of biblical faith outside of praising Yahweh yeah <laughs> do you know what I'm saying if you're not praising the most high God yeah 
by default you're praising Satan. Whether you call him Vishnu, Krishna, <laughs> whether you call him Allah, Brahma. I know Allah can mean God in different in different languages. In Arabic, it does Allah does mean God, yeah. Allah yeah, yeah. mean God, mm-hmm. but Allah is not the name of the most high God. Mm-hmm. And God is not the name of the most high God. Because <laughs> it's a title. So, yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> if Allah is the, the name of their God, it's still not the most high God. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say, bro? Mm. You get? It? Yes. Yeah. I get the it. Muslims do not praise the God that we praise. The Muslims do not praise the God of the Bible. The God of the Quran is not the God of the Bible. Um, that is a fact. So Rost, I have spoken to some Muslims who do yeah, they would disagree with me. Yeah, they, no, not only would they disagree, but the, 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 they would, of course, they would, because they, they claim that it's, it's the, you know, we worship the same God of mm-hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob being the three yeah. Abrahamic faiths. But as I say, there are some Muslims that I speak to who do go outside of the Quran. They don't read the Hadiths, but they do study the Old Testament, Tanakh, and Jail, etc., and do mm-hmm. recognize that, yeah, you know, that's who, that's the source. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm mm. still going to deal with the, the Ishmaelite kind of, you know, Muslim element of it, but I do recognize that the Most High, Yahweh, as you say, or mm. Yahuwah, however you mm. want to, you know, vocalize the tetragrammaton, mm-hmm. that is that is the, 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 the be all and end all of all of this thing. Yeah, that, and that's good. I mean, that's, that's, that's good for them. But, you know, the scripture says the demons know that too, bro. The demons believe that and they tremble. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, what did they do with the Messiah? The Messiah hung on a tree and was crucified and killed and resurrected. I'm not sure they, they believe. Ask them, those brothers that you were just talking about, mm-hmm. ask them, what did they believe? Yeah. The Quran- <sighs> did they well, believe the Quranic account of, of Yeshua's crucifixion? Hung and slew believe on a tree. Well, the New Testament account. What did they believe? You know what I'm saying? This is the question. Because the New Testament says Jesus was crucified and that he was resurrected, and the Quran says that he wasn't. Yeah, the resurrection element, that's that's, that's the uh, the, con- the contention there. Where he Even was the re- death. They say he wasn't killed, bro. Oh, they of course, because some, yeah, the they said that he went up before he died, didn't they? Yeah, they said he wasn't on the cross. They said Allah deceived the people. Some people say it was Judas. Some people say it was just someone else. Allah deceived the people. Jesus never died according to them. Oh, yeah, but I've that... explained in the past, in, in that's why it's totally an antichrist movement. Um, sorry for anybody who's a Muslim if this is offensive. I'm not trying to be offensive, you know what I mean? I'm just I've got friends and family who are Muslims, you know what I'm saying? And I love them dearly, but you know what I mean. May God's word be true and every man be a liar. Liar. You know? mm. And and my Bible tells me that Jesus was crucified on a cross and he resurrected. So the Quran can't come 600 years later and tell me that Jesus didn't die on the cross and he didn't crucify yeah, and, and he didn't resurrect. Yeah, and let me tell you why this is an antichrist movement. Because in the Christian faith, yeah, if you subscribe to the Christian faith, we, we are saved by grace through faith, yeah, in the work of what Christ done on the cross. Christ's atoning blood, yeah. Christianity is like this. We are all sinners. Nobody is good. No, not one. The wages of sin is death, death. but the gift of God is eternal life. Mm-hmm. So because the wages of sin is death, because of our sin, we all deserve to die. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We've all lied. That's one sin, one little idiot, stupid sin. And we've all done that. Mm-hmm. And the Bible says, if you break one law, you shouldn't lie. That's a law of God. If you, you break, break that law, you break all. So mm-hmm. we've all sinned. We all deserve to die according to God's standards. So Jesus came and Jesus died. You get it? In our place. So the Quran says Jesus didn't do that. (laughs) So if Mm. Jesus didn't die in my place, bro, then I'm still condemned under the law. I'm still going to hell, basically, if Jesus didn't die. Jesus is blood, his death atoned the lamb for my the lamb the so blood of the lamb bro indeed yeah. so, so, so that's so, why it's an antichrist movement they take it they take it away from you they take salvation by grace which is a free gift of god not of works not of anything you do and they make it of works and islam makes it of works so islam's thing that you get into the jannah what's the one way to the jannah do you know it, no by becoming by becoming a martyr so the oh, one sh- way 
Yeah, is that is that is that hadith related or is that Quranic? I'm Don't sure that's a deep thing. I think it's I think it's hadith. Yeah, think it's yeah, hadith. yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's hadith still. But mm-hmm. to be a true Muslim, you have to accept hadith. This know, is this is stuff that's of where Islam, the, bro. And see, again, the, see these Muslims that say I just have the Quran. And I have the, the, the and I don't have the hadith. It's like Christians that say, I just have the old testament, but I don't want the new, or I just want the new testament. I, I don't want the old, yeah, yeah. You can't do that. It mm. goes old testament and new go together. Exactly. Just like the Quran and the Hadith go to it's just it's the same thing, bro. Yeah, but, they've got one that they disagree with, but you've got core hadith like Bukhari. Yeah, there's hardly any Muslim that disagrees with, mm. with Sahih mm. Bukhari. You get what I'm saying? <sighs> But you see, that, so, that that's the tricky slope. That's the slippery slope because based upon the, the traditions, these were these were quote-unquote the, the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. As yeah, the say, right? and the traditions, yeah. yeah? So, yeah. and the reasons of the Hadiths is to give you more clarity in regards to what was written in the Quran, right? Yeah. But, here's the big but, the first couple surahs, who were they talking about in their surahs? Well, who were the two? Who are they referring to? Who are they referring to? Isa. Isa, Moshe, um, Noah, the upright one, mm-hmm. Ibrahim, mm-hmm. you know. All the biblical characters. All the... they, have, they have to, bro. They have to and, understand. And the, mo- the key thing, though, mm. this is the key, the key thing is mm. follow the upright ways mm. of the, those people. So mm, how would you, so you, I'm reading this here, the first couple of surahs, you know, surah one, something I think is surah 124 to, to 36, if I'm mistaken, in the comments, mm. please put the, the right, correct surah in there. Um, and that's what it's saying. So at that point, I'm saying, okay, what I need to do is maybe I, I might continue reading this here, but I need to go back to the Old Testament. I need to grab that Old Testament that if, that, that in, in, in this potential custom religion and, and culture say mm-hmm. that that book has been tampered with. That's why we got this mm-hmm. one. But this book mm-hmm. is now referring me back to the old book. Mm-hmm. So, to, so, so we can look at the, the prostration. We can look at the beards. We can look at the head coverings. Where does that come from, Cyrus? Come on, fam, man. Come on. It's for them to... But fam, you have to understand as well. It's a cultural thing now. So, you know. Mm. <laughs> That's why I say, I say to, you know, people who have converted to, to Islam who come from, like, a similar culture to ours, mm-hmm. those are the ones that I really try to go ham on as far as telling them stuff. Yeah. Because you weren't brought up in this culture. Mm. If you leave Islam, you're not going to be enemies with your family. You know, you're not going to have you know, fatwas out in your head and all of that. And mm. it's not that deep for you, fam. Yeah, you know, your Muslim brethren might not talk to you no more. But your real family and your old friends, you still got them and you yes. can still crack on with your life. You're not mm-hmm. fearful for your life. You see people who have grown up in strict Muslim families and that make them say they want to marry a Christian or, mm-hmm. or they want to, you know what I mean? They, they want to be a Christian. Mm. <laughs> fam, it's peak, you know. Yeah. You're yeah. talking like leave the country, I've got to run away and not talk to my family ever again type peak. Relocating. You know yeah. Yeah, relocating, depending on how deep your family's into the team fam. So um, you know, and and yeah, it's just about, I mean, and I understand it. I understand the discipline. You know, Islam can bring great discipline to your life. It yeah. offers great community and great family and social, social um support. And, and that kind of economic stuff. support. Let's not economic believe that one. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it's 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 really great for all of that. But at the heart of it, it's 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 a false religion. It's not it's not the truth. And this is the, the horrible thing that yeah, you know what I mean. And then some people even know some horrific things that are facts about people like the leader of Islam and still I don't know, they turn a blind eye to it or something. I don't know. Like, fam, like, with all due respect, the leader of this religion married a five-year-old child and had sex with her when she was nine. Like, when he was in his 50s. This is who you lot are calling a prophet, fam. Yeah? Fam, this guy had black slaves. He owned black slaves and sold them. He traded black people, fam. 
and he was racist and he called black people raisin heads. Abid. These are all Quranic facts. Yeah. The 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 um nine year old thing is 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 indisputable. No one will dispute that. They will give you their reason in saying that was normal behavior at that time. That I've, I've heard that you listen you, outside of <laughs> outside of Islamic culture, custom and culture. I've heard that if, outside of religious connotations of back then, them kind of days. As soon as a, a a girl was on her menstruation, that means she had become of age. But yeah, but what's the name on her menstruation? <laughs> this is the there's yo, there's hadith yeah of. Aisha, who's the mm. woman, yeah, when recorded of when she remembers when she was five years old playing with her dollies, yeah, when the prophet came to her father saying that he wants to marry her, bro. See, okay, like, bro, this is some deep next level type stuff that I don't know how people that, that's not in Abu Bakari, is it? That's not Abu Bakari. I'm not too sure, I don't want to misquote things. Yeah, and, yeah. For the Muslim brothers to jump in the comments and, and slay me. Yeah. But what I'm saying are facts. This guy did that. You know what I'm saying? And and then all right, cool. I can't even, I can't even get past that. But even if I could get past that, then he owned slaves. He was and he weren't a, a black slave owner. That's another thing. This guy was a white Arab fan. He's got he's got there's hadiths talking about the whiteness of look, it's not about colour. Yeah, I'm um, no way am I yeah, racist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No shape or form am I racial or ethnically prejudiced against anybody. Yeah, stating facts. People want to say Christianity is the white man's religion and Jesus is some white man and all that, which is totally false and lies. The imagery, unfortunately, Caesar Borgia. The imagery, <laughs> he's white. Yeah, but that ain't Jesus. Of course not. We know. We know Good. the thing. So we're talking about the truth of the matter. Mm. Yeah. So that's all lies. It's not a white man's religion and Jesus is not white. Yeah. But on the other hand, Muhammad was a white Arab. There's Hadith talking about the whiteness of his face. I've, I've seen it. And the I've whiteness seen... of his arms. Yeah. And the whiteness of his elk. Like, all right. Hey, hey so Ross, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. At this point, I've got to play righteous advocate because in that, in that area, in that time frame, Ishmael and those people, Esau, they were brown people, man. They were bro- so where? So are we saying that that Muhammad I don't, was potentially? I don't know about that. I know that had the Hadith. I mean, obviously Ishmael and those would have been brown people because mm. there was Arabs. But my point, Muhammad was an Arab. We know yes, that. Yes. But we also know he was a white Arab because the Hadith says. <laughs> but but but, but <laughs> so not, could that have been? That. Could that have yes. been? In a modern sense, like if we go back and go really back to like the most and early, we, also know we didn't like black people. bro. All I'm trying to say is he was a white guy that didn't like black. People. That's <laughs> all I'm trying to say. I'm just <laughs> simply, I'm just trying to balance the thing out and ask that no, that, that, that question. You can't, you can't balance that. There's no balance. To that. <laughs> he was a white guy that didn't like black guys, bro, and he sold them, you know, to, to save other white guys. There's a hadith where he sold two black slaves to save, save. his wife. Brethren, yeah, okay, that's the hadith. Just for anyone who wants to know, I'll even, for the sake of the interview and the the video, just when we finish, send me the yeah, and I'll send you. Yeah, the, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. The yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. Don't worry. Listen, what we'll do is I'll make sure. We'll, but once this is going or in the description, we'll put some links down yeah. there so we can verify yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and. But it's just nuts, bro. It's just nuts. I don't understand none of it. I don't understand how people can know these things and then still crack on. You know what I'm saying? That is crazy to me. Um, Yeah, for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? Even if I think I was born in that, once I found out all that stuff, being a black man with who has a daughter, mm. like, but my daughter's five, bro. I'm... Imagine a man coming and telling me about he wants to come marry my daughter, bro. God forbid, fam. You have to hold me down to what? This is it. I'll have to control myself, fam. It, 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 Put it, yourself it, in the equation. Yeah. I don't care if it happened 1,500 years ago now. Like, how is that? How can you look at a child and say you want to marry her? I don't understand that. And that's not in the Bible. We don't see none of that behavior in the Bible. Come on. Come on. I don't think there's even an inclination of anything in regards to... to, to, to... <laughs> To that now, according of... to church history, yeah, and stuff like that, 
like Jewish women would get married and have children around 14, 15 years old. But that, that's pretty that, much that's outside of Judaism. That's outside. That's that's the standard for, for the time frame women were exactly getting, yeah exactly exactly. So if we're taking it from that that time of the period, then that would have been the accepted. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just like yes. you're saying when you know the menstrual the the menstruate the um you know menstruation started. You know, you know the woman the girl is turning into a woman. She's exactly. filling out. You know what I'm saying? And yes. you know. Um, not when she's nine years old, bro. Uh, no, What's no, happening no, no, at no. nine years old? Huh? No, no, Come on, brother, no, no. man. Come on. You know, this is... they were eating some different food than they were. <laughs> they was going through puberty when they were seven. Some hard <laughs> food on. or something, sibling. Listen, I can't <laughs> on, see brother, that, man. man. What this I can, what I can see is, is a f- two families coming together and saying, "You've got a son. I've got a daughter. Mm. Like, I like the way you mm. move. You like the way mm. I move." Let's yeah, put yeah, these yeah. two together. Together, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. Let, yeah. You know. Let's groom them for each yes. other. Yes, kind of that's yeah, the yeah. right but, way to do the but thing. But this guy was 50 something years old it, when he went to the, no, no, to no, the no, man. No, no, no. 50 something years old, bro. If, if, that, if that's verifiable, no, nah, boss. There's, there's no I coming back from that. Yeah, I don't really understand. So um, I don't even know how we started talking about this for so long. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but listen, what we need to... We need to get the detail, though. We need to expound yeah, it. And, you that's know what I mean? True. We that's can't true. just that's say one thing and say, yeah, man, all right, then on to yeah, the next like subjects. Like, bro, because there's so many things I can talk about this, and then it will, it might sound like, yeah, yeah man. I know, I know. Trying to I, I, thing I, yes, when, yes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mind, but mm. it's just because... Well, no, no, but that's yeah, not where we want to take it. With, that's not where we want to yeah? take it, though. That's yeah, not where we want to take it. we don't want to take it, then. We want to do things with with love and respect, but we want people to know the truth also. Mm-hmm. And we want people to see, because some people don't even know this, my brother. That's why it's such a dangerous thing. Remember, they told you that to, to understand and all of that correctly, the Quran, you, you got to learn Arabic, you know, yeah. you, you know that. Yeah. 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 So, so <laughs> when you pray, you pray in Arabic. Yes. When you read the Quran, you're reading the Arabic and then you're reading, you're learning everything. So this is a foreign language to you. Like, bro, I can just about speak English, bro. Yeah? So, like, now I'm going to be learning this complicated Arabic that I don't even know when it was created. There's different kinds of Arabic. Yes. Like what Arabic I'm really learning. Yeah, I don't know who's teaching me, what they're teaching me. That Oh, it's just so... It's it, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it's a rabbit so hole. Like, it's a, it's a it's rabbit a, hole. I mm. never know what you're going in. But you get, you get overwhelmed by the love. Yeah. Keys, you know? Yeah, Mashallah yeah, yeah. and the nah. hugs and, and that, mm. the, you know, the, the aftershave, the roll-on aftershave. Yes. And, you know, you yes. start wearing the clothes. You start mm. saying the lingo. Mm. You start going Juma on Fridays. Man, them start linking you. Then you start get one, two bad boy links. Car, you know, some of them are still on this thing. Then you get strap links. So then it's still kind of on the road. But you feel like you can be this kind of like holy Muslim bad man. Yes. And it, it just got like you said, it's a rabbit hole. It don't go yeah. that way for everybody. Mm. You know, doesn't you know every you know what I'm saying? Some people just but they still oh bro, I don't know. And it's a spiritual thing as well. So it's a spiritual stronghold where some people are in it, they find out revelations and truths about it, but yet still they can't leave and they don't yeah. leave, not because yeah. anybody's forced them no. to. It's a spiritual stronghold holding on to them now. Do you know what I'm saying? Um so it's it's really yeah man but i just i do believe that i'm sorry to say that that yeah that is in that religion is inspired by the devil you know what i'm saying um to counteract the truth of the cross like what's interesting here is that they tell you they believe in jesus and they believe Jesus is Messiah, even though their understanding of Messiah is a different thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they believe Jesus was born of a vir- virgin. They believe the Virgin Mary and all mm-hmm. of that. Um, they believe Jesus is coming back. So they come to you and say, all these things we believe about Jesus, but we just don't believe that he died on the cross. That's yeah. all. We just don't believe he died. And we don't believe he's God. And he can't be the son of God because God doesn't have any sons and God doesn't have any partners. And rare, rare. So like I said, they take away you the see that Christ. that's tricky that is man that is tricky i mean i i, I can kind of understand based upon the, the, the you know the, the the standpoint he's he's not god because I, I you know we've had this conversation you know yeah yeah, yeah. You we know. can go we can go back there but for the sake of conversation yeah 
yeah, I know yeah, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, so you can understand them saying mm. how you can understand. I mean, I can understand, bro. Yeah. Someone's struggling with the idea that Jesus is God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Jesus clearly is a man, was a man, mm-hmm. yeah, on the earth. So it is a bit hard to get your head around. So how can that man be the God of the world? Yeah. Like, and be on this struggle, earth and be talking struggle, to himself at the same time. I struggle to, I struggle to, to comprehend that. Mm-hmm. And I can understand, I can totally understand that still. Um, you know, and it's a journey of of looking at the scripture, you know, what do we, you know, <laughs> do we, is it, the first journey is do we accept that the scripture is true? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing, mm-hmm. you know, um, and then if we don't accept all of the scripture and we accept some of the scripture, what is our reasoning for only accepting some of it and not all of it? You know what I'm Conf- saying? Confirmation bias? Confirmation bias, meaning... Meaning that, as we alluded to earlier, that they're use, utilizing bits and pieces to fit their life rather than, you know, reading the whole script and, and, and trying to apply yeah, it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. That's true. That's true. So let's just say, for instance, we, we do believe that the scripture is true, um, but we're having, we're having trouble understanding some of what it says. That's okay. Mm. You know, in, there's nothing wrong with, not understanding something or, or or having trouble understanding it um when it starts to be a little bit like oh well when you start to deny it like you know what that brother was doing on the phone with on the in the debate with me a few weeks ago <laughs> like i was showing him something in the scripture and he was telling me something else but i'm showing you the scripture like if we're coming from an understanding that we both believe all of the scripture mm. you know the scripture is inerrant all of it new and old testament and there's not things that we don't you know well, believe. before before you carry on that in that vein mm. do you hold steadfast um to the manuscript old and new being perfect without man's interference with it meaning if it was like all right untainted mean, well no it's obviously tainted because it, it being translated is tainted. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. That's you know all I mean? good. You know where I'm yeah. going with that then. So that's yeah, all yeah, good. Yeah. It being translated is tainted. But the 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 essence and the overall message mm. is, is there. Yeah. It's there. Mm-hmm. And you know, yeah, I don't believe it's corrupted, you know. Um, I believe when we say tainted now not tainted in 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 the sense of it being corrupted corrupted no no or, no no or anything but tainted in the in the sense that because it's translated we don't have the true meaning indeed in the, in the english or we yes. don't have the full not true because we have the true meaning we don't have the full meaning yeah, yeah? but praise god as we said before now we've got nice little gadgets and websites uh-huh. where we can go into the original language and we can get the full meaning Definitely. if we do a little due diligence and Indeed. spend some time. Yeah. Strong's you can park Concordance, etc. Yeah. NFL uh, Bible you, Dictionary. You can park yeah. on one verse in the Bible for a day. Mm? A day? A week? <laughs> to understand these things, you've got to know these other stories and the Old Testament to really get what that means yeah. about that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so, so, yeah, it being translated has, has um, watered it down. Yeah. yeah, the translated mm-hmm. is watered down from the full meaning. Yes. And also it's watered down for us because we live in 2021. We don't live in a in a you know you know first century Judeo yeah. society. <laughs> uh-huh. Hebrew society. We live in, in, in London or in Wolverhampton or in Birmingham mm. or wherever we live mm-hmm. in 2021. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? So so there's that too that is gonna water down our understanding. We're not in the culture a lot of the things and references in the scripture is things that is relevant to the culture of the time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of references about, you know, olive oil and, Mm. and, and and shepherds and sheep and, and, and sowing seeds and and farming. You know what I'm saying? and tears. Exactly. It's things that people are used to, bro, within their time, you know, today would have been different stuff. Mm. What about the name of the Most High? Why why do you think that's been, you know, we've got in Psalms, it's referred, you know, the Most High is referred to as Jah. We've got, yeah. 
you, you got Elohim in Genesis, pluralized. Yeah. We got Almighty Power, Lord yeah. God. Wait, why do you reckon? What, what, why do you reckon we've got all of these titleage rather than the, the tetragrammaton all throughout that there? Mm. It's an interesting question. Still, I guess the different names and titles um, is referring to the role that God is playing at the time. Um, ah. or not playing. You know what I'm saying? But for instance, you know, you speak to the pluralization of Elohim, mm -hmm. you know, that is seen a lot in Genesis. So, you know, in the beginning, God, that, that, that would be Elohim. Mm -hmm. So that would be plural, you know, but singular. Mm -hmm. it, immediately, that's the triune God, bro. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You see, see how it just gets crazy already. <laughs> like, in the beginning, God, Elohim, plural, but singular. God is free, but one. Immediately, bro, we see the triunity of God's nature. Yeah. Um, and then da, 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 it will go on. And then we've got Lord, like you say, um, the, as far as I know, and I'm aware, anytime we see Lord in the Bible, in capitals, the translation is always Yahweh, always goes back to the Hebrew Yahweh. Mm -hmm. As far as yeah. I know. Capitalization, yeah. yes, yes, caps, yes, indeed, you're correct. Right. Um, you know, and then yeah you know <laughs> yeah and then we go into things like um um like what i was doing in my man on the phone in 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 isaiah you know um mighty god um all of that you know um prophesying of jesus you know mighty god that there was the elohim mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um so it's 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 um yeah bro it's interesting you, you know it and is then, then, then we see in the new testament we see that you know the name of jesus yeshua however you want to pronounce it mm -hmm. is the name given above every other name so if we believe the scripture yeshua is the name is the name yah saves above yahweh mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about is the name if, if the bible says what it says you know what i mean Jesus is the name above every other name. It doesn't say every other name apart from Yahweh or every other name apart from El Shaddai. Or every, you know what I'm saying? Oh, of course, so, El Shaddai as well. Yes, indeed. Come on, bro. El yeah, Shaddai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. El, Elohim. Mm. You know, um, Jehovah, Jah. You know what I'm saying? I am. Yeah. Oh, a sure, a, a, a higher, a sure, a higher. I am that I am. Yes, indeed. There's so Come much. On, <laughs> Come on, bro. You know hey, listen, so, some of these people, them at the surface level, just going to, you know, Sunday, you know, listening to the pastor or the priest, you know, yeah. uh, they ain't getting the full meat of this year, man. Yeah, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. But you know what? It's on us, man. It's mm. on us. Like, my pastor is a great guy. I love him. He's a wonderful teacher and that. But i got to do my own stuff, too. Mm. Um. Just like anybody listening, like, you know, there's great teachers out there, even online, even if you ain't got the privilege of having a good teacher like, like I have personally, where I can go and sit down and listen to him teach weekly. If you ain't got that privilege, you got that online. There's loads of good teachers who are teaching meaty stuff like this, mm -hmm. like what we're, what we're building on now. But it's like, raw. a lot of people found I mean, there's a lot of people searching and seeking for knowledge as well, but you know yeah. what? It's like, you don't know where to go for it. Mm. There's that too. And then some of us, you know, when we get real good knowledge and that, we don't really pass it on. <laughs> selfish. <laughs> Those selfish kings who keep all the jewels in their ourselves. crown. And, yeah, man. And, and when I want to want to kick knowledge and school people when, you know what I'm saying, fam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make people look stupid. Like, yo, share the knowledge. Let's, let's all grow. You know what I'm saying? Let's, you know, what well, people just, have to want to learn to, I guess. Yes, and we can bring horses to water, but unless the horse wants uh, to you drink. See that. <laughs> you see that? You see that, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know what, as well? Yeah, I've noticed in this, you know, this spiritual, spiritual life, the spiritual walk. Um, yeah, it ain't, it ain't about me. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm just the messenger, man. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of God is who does the waking up. He's the one who does the convicting. And the, so like, you know, if, 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 
if I say a message to someone and that it, it don't connect with that person, then the spirit of God didn't move on my message. Mm. It didn't. He was. He didn't choose. That's what. That's not in His will, right now. You know. What uh, I'm yes. Saying? Key point right now because it could be six months. It could be five years down the line, and that said conversation or you know. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, bro. So um, you know what I mean. And even doing this thing, as far as you know whatever we want to call it, being an evangelist or being a, a, a community, you know, a community leader, or I don't know what you would, uh, what you would want to say, but it's, it's, you know, it's not, the power's not in, in you in that respect to change things. Yeah. You know, you ain't going to change the world. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Some people come into it and be, I'm going to change the world and I'm going to take, mm. London for Jesus, and I'm gonna change every. You know, what I'm saying like I respect the zeal, yeah, and, and and the compassion and the passion and the energy, and but you ain't gonna change nothing, yeah. God does the changing, um, when He sees fit. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying, um, if we make ourselves available and He uses us, then Hallelujah, um, it's a wonderful thing to be used by God, advancing his plans and his kingdom you get me call Definitely. he's gonna use anybody who wants to be used yeah. cousin if i don't let him use me he'll just he'll use you mm. you know what i'm saying i'm to the next <laughs> i'm to the next willing vessel exactly. you know what i mean to propagate this culture freedom and righteousness it's just it's simple <laughs> you know what i mean he's gonna get his thing done regardless bro mm. yeah there's nothing we can do to to get in the way of that you know definitely so let's so let, let's rewind a little bit of time we, we, you've alluded to it a few times in this build. How did that um, that um, discourse take place with you and the uh, the Hebraic brother from Nuts? Oh, um, what do you mean? How did it How did it happen? Yeah, how did oh. it manifest? Okay. Um, so I do a Bible study online every Friday night, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, and he was on there one day, and the the book we're studying is the gospel of john and the gospel of john is it's a it's a gospel different to the other three um because john really hones down on on the fact that jesus is god incarnate jesus is again this is what we're saying even what, what we we're just talking about john tries to get us to see in the gospel that jesus is god in the flesh that's the whole point of john's gospel so i was basically in a part of that talking about that and I see him jumping up in the comments saying certain things you get me so after um I dm'd him and I asked him um so so what what you know <laughs> what, he basically called me a false teacher <laughs> oh, <laughs> not in man. so many words he didn't <laughs> say it like that but you know um that's how I felt I was like rah Olin so then um i said so what do you do with these scriptures then bro and i sent him a couple of scriptures like might have even been john one mm -hmm. you know in the beginning was the word the word was with god um and something else and he says no nah, he believes those scriptures i'm interpreting them wrong so i said okay well educate me you know what i'm saying <laughs> if i'm interpreting them wrong then show me where i'm going wrong with this because you know <laughs> as far as i know i'm not wrong and then he said to me, let's do it on the live. Ah. And I said, okay. <laughs> so boom now. It's like <laughs> I come off the phone, off the out of the, I come out of the app and I thought about it. And then I said, like, rah, but <laughs> like, I was thinking this is too easy. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, Lord, do you want me to do this? Like, do you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, I just said, all right, cool, boom, let's do it, yeah. Um, and then he had a, he made an accusation um, about the Council of Nicaea and that before the Council of Nicaea, mm -hmm. um, nobody worshipped Jesus as God. That was his accusation. So his accusation was that they created Jesus' deity at the Council of Nicaea, um, which is false and which are, I showed was false by historical account. I showed it was false from the Bible, but then I showed it was false from extracurricular um, sources 
and I also show how the Bible teaches that Jesus is God. I know it's a hard thing for us to deal with, but that's what the Bible teaches. You know, I went to Hebrew words and Greek words and showed how, you know, the I remember word that, the builds. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus is called Jesus is called this here, and it's the same word that is used for Jesus there, is used for G, for God in Genesis or used for God in wherever. Like the so Bible it, is telling us that Jesus is God. Now, whether we want to accept that or not is something else, but the Bible is telling us that Jesus is God in flesh. That's what it says. The word became flesh. Is his so, stance? Um, is his stance that Yeshua Hamashiach is is the son of God and he's he's not? No, he doesn't even. Um, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. His stance is Jesus is the son of God, not and not God. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what his that's what his stance is. Yeah. Whereas you know, we believe that Jesus is the son of God, but the son of God meaning, you know, Jesus was born of a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's you know god's son through a woman if we can say that mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that god had sex with the woman now we want to put our carnal mind into yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. and think god had sex with mary and then jesus came it's nothing to do with sex you know um yeah the bible actually says that there was a seed in mary do you know what i mean <laughs> how did the seed get there it must be God who put it there. We don't know if I'm, but you know, and the Holy Spirit came upon came upon um Mary and Mary mm. conceived. You know what I'm saying? So something mystical went on there, and the Messiah was was conceived. You know, he wasn't created by sperm. My man didn't have sex with um Joseph didn't have sex with Mary until after Jesus was born, and then Jesus brothers and sisters came. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, my man had sex with Mary after Jesus was born, innit? You know what I'm saying? So, it's so nothing got, to do... Hmm? It's, it's, so, you got the Most High, yeah, Yahuwah, or Yahweh, mm. and then on the right side, we got Yeshua HaMashiach, as the world calls Jesus. Mm. Is that second in command in essence? No. Or are they one? Yeah, Based they're one. The they're, yeah, they're one. There's no second in command or third in command. There's no hierarchy. They just have different roles. Um, you know, they're all equal to each other. They're all in agreement. The Holy Spirit will never disagree with Christ. Christ will never disagree with his father. You know what I mean? They are all in agreement. They have different, they do different stuff. Roles and responsibilities. Stuff. Yeah, they do different things, but they're all in agreement and they are all one. So they make up, you know, and it's not Jesus is one third of God. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just all one, but it's three different persons of the oneness of God. So we say free in person, one in essence. There is one God, but that one God is free in person. Um you know, how can God be free in person? The same way God can be listening to our conversation now. He's answering someone's prayers, mm. someone's prayer store. He's talking to someone right now in Kenya. Is He's healing a man right now in yeah, China. Man. God is everywhere. Everywhere. Is om omnipresent. Meaning everywhere. he is everywhere. <laughs> all at the same time. He's yes. omnipresent. He's mm. omniscient. He's all-knowing. You know what I mean? So God is a, com you know, we can't, you see, the thing is with us, we tend to think we understand God. You know what I mean? And if you well, think about that's it, the human mind's Ross, you know what exactly, I mean? That, that's exactly, the, you know what I mean. We try exactly, to understand everything. Exactly, exactly. But if you really think about it, we can never understand God. Nah, nah. And why things like how can Jesus be God? How can what's this free but one business? It's too complex for us to understand, even when we try to. You know, don't get me wrong. I grasp it. I don't mm. understand it, bro. I don't understand it. Yeah, I'd be a hypocrite or liar if I said, yeah, I understand the Trinity. <laughs> Thank you. Thank because I don't. Because Thanks for the but honesty, I believe man. it. Mm. I believe it, though. I believe it because the Bible teaches it, bro. We can't get around it. You know, 
let us make man in our image, fam. Who's God talking to? All if right, he, all right, all right. To... I am glad to roast you brought that off because is he were... try you? who's he talking to, bro? All right, let me let me the bring angels? it. Let me let the me bring it in God's image. People, <laughs> listen, listen. According to some people, <clears throat> in a standing of the that that that's Genesis. Is that 25, 25? That's twenty four, right? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Go on. Let's yeah. Go. So according to some people's inner standing, understanding and overstanding of those those scriptures from 24 to 26, I believe that that section, right? They have um, come to the, the the thought pattern of that Elohim element. Let us make man in our own image. Let him have dominion over the fish of over the uh, uh, earth and all all that stuff. Is the first creation. Then it says, God said, let me singularly, let me, not us, let me make man in my own image. And then he molded him from the from the, the dirt and then into the right nostril. The ruach was then blown into. Mm -hmm. So they're saying first creation, the angels created the first creation. Second creation, that's when Adam and Adam was created and Eve was uncreated from the whip. When so, Cain, Cain so they Abel, are saying that what? That when God's saying, let us make man in our image, he's talking about the angels? The angels was, 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 was making a first creation, which then creates the people who were in the land of Nod, who then Cain got his wife from. Yeah, see, the thing is, yeah, we've got to add a lot of stuff into into the text to arrive at that conclusion. Um, that's my problem with it. You know what I mean? When we, I mean, I mean, look, I've heard things. I've heard, I've heard stuff about kind of what you're talking about, yeah? Um, not exactly the way you just put it, but I've heard something of, that they will call a pre-creation story. Yes. Yeah? Meaning that there was worlds and yes. other beings and stuff before the garden. Yeah. And people arrived there from somewhere, I think it's in Ezekiel. I think it's in Ezekiel, where um where the Lord is like it's like a courtroom setting, and Satan, it might even might even be in Job, you know, might even be in Job. And, and the Lord has said, you saying something like you, Lucifer, who, who, who terrified the worlds or something like that, something like that. But it's, it's, it's in, it's in, it's set in like pre-creation. It's, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, the image yeah. of getting it is that it's in heaven. I'm gonna find the scripture for you in a minute. I'm just mm -hmm. in Genesis looking okay. at the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, but it's like that, yeah. And um, and and what they say was so yeah. So from from back in the day, there have been, um, yeah, other beings, fallen angels, giants, mm. da, 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 da. and then you know, like you just said, the second creation when God made Adam and Eve, and da 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 da. And then, yeah, when Cain got banished to the land of Nod, that's kind of like where all the wicked people were yes. from creations before. Mm. And that's where we found, found wives and have babies and whatever. Mm. Yeah, I've heard that still. Um, but, yeah, we do have to read a lot into the text to get there. To get and, to that point. Mm. Yeah, and you see what we're talking about in that place where he was saying, you, Lucifer, who who have made the nations tremble and made the world yes. tremble that we can see that's taking place in heaven in god's where god dwells mm -hmm. yeah and remember god is outside of time ah good points so we can't really put that scenario in some kind of creation time frame but the seven days of but the seven days of creation, one day is a thousand years to the most high, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's different. That, you know, when we're talking about the creation of, of, of the world, mm -hmm. you know, it's set in our, it's set in our foundations of cos cosmo or mm -hmm. whatever you want to say. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. set in our realm. 
mm. you know, it's telling us about what happened in our realm, mm -hmm. yeah, the world when the world was was made, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but that scene I just told you about in in the throne room of God or wherever it was, it was somewhere in heaven. It was in the heavenlies, mm -hmm. um, and this was just before Lucifer was cast out of heaven. I'm talking mm -hmm. about, yeah. Um, that takes place in heaven, and that's outside of time. God dwells out. Remember, it's the third heaven, you know. Mm. It's God's dwelling place. That's outside of time and space, bro. So when we're seeing pictures and things going on, like in Job, when, you know, we see the accuser coming up to Satan, um, I mean, the accuser, Satan, coming up to God, saying in the book of Job, where he's accusing Job of, of he says to God, Job's only faithful because he's got all this stuff. Remember, Job was a rich man. Yes, you know, exactly. Enough houses, enough <laughs> cattle and animals. Ah. Um, he had enough children and that. And, and, and he was faithful to God. He loved God and he served God. And Satan was like, well, he's only faithful. Da, 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 da. And God said, all right, you know what? I'm going to let you mess with Job. Yeah, just don't kill him. But you can mess with him. Yeah, Satan messed with Job and that. And, and killed Job's family and mash up Job's um, mm. crops and Job became a poor man and all yeah. of that. And, but all them scenes with Satan going to back to and fro to God, yeah. that's in the heavenly realm. Of course. You get me? It's outside of time. Mm -hmm. It's outside of space. Mm -hmm. And Job is the first book written in the Bible. Job is the oldest book in the Bible. I don't know if people know that. This is So when Job was written, there was no temple. There was no law. Job is both, there's no Abraham, there's no Moses, there's no, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, um, Job is the oldest book in the Bible. Yeah, and it's got a lot of imagery from the throne room of God, which is, again, sorry, I'm laboring, outside of time. So, so it's kind of hard for us to read all of that stuff into, and then we make, you know what I'm saying? We come to sec first creations and second creations. And so, when really, the, the Bible don't talk about first and second creation like how people Oh, no, about, no, definitely not. You know what I mean? Mm. So, hold on, let me get to this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While God said, let, verse 26, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let him have dominion over the fish in the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle and all of the earth, over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking about Adam and Eve, male and female. Yeah, male and female. And so, so let's pause, let's, yeah. let's pause it for there for one moment, Rose. So mm. at that point, we've got, oh, we, according to the text, we've mm. already got Adam and Eve potentially physically, well, spiritually made, basically, based upon that text. And that's a spiritual being without a physical body, right? Um, I guess the, the writer is just describing what, you know, that God made male and female. He created them mm -hmm. in his own likeness and, you know, said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, subdue it. Da, 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 da. God said, hold on, let me go back up a little bit. What was your question, bro? Say that again. So at that, so if, if, if we're excusing that hypothesis, what I, I laid out in regards to the first yeah. and second creation, that yeah. part of Genesis is relating to the, the, the spiritual creation of male and female? Um, I believe so. Not the physical, uh, because once we read down... No, because he hasn't done the dust yet. Yeah, yes. He hasn't and, and drawn her from his rib. Mm -hmm. So... So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess we could say that. We could also say that it's more of a summary before he goes into detail. So he's told us, the writer, if we're going to believe that as Moses, Moses has told us so far that he's, you know, he's told us what, what, what God's done as far as, you know, called the, the light day and the, the darkness night. Okay. And, He's, you know, so it's like he's summarizing a description um, of sorts. Yeah, it's like a, a, it, to me, it's looking like a bit of an overview. And mm. then in Genesis 2, he goes in a little bit more. Thus, the heavens and the earth and all of them were finished. On the seventh day, God ended his work, which was on the rest of the. This is the history of the heavens and the earth. Yeah, okay. See, okay. So, seventh day. Of the go on. Go 
go and read that part oh. there. So, because the seventh day, the, the day he rested and saw that yeah, everything was good. Day, God ended his work, which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his works, which he had done. God blessed the seventh day, sanctified it because he rested from all his work, which God had created and made. Hold on, what translation am I reading here? Let me check the translation. Try and go to the, our new K, Can you go to the KJV? Yeah. If you want me to struggle, bro, you want me to nah, struggle? Nah, nah, all good, nah, all good. We'll do, <laughs> yes, we'll do, we'll do new, new King right. James. This is the history of the heavens and the earth, which, which they were created in the day that the Lord made the earth and the heavens before any plant of the field was in the earth, before any herb of the field had grown, for the Lord had not caused it to rain on the earth. There was no man to till the ground, mm. but a mist went up from the earth and watered the whole face of the earth. And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being see now my because uh, you're reading the new it reads different that uh, let me check out the old let me check out the old let the old it, it's not that difficult this part as well so it's not uh, that part cool. yeah because that cool, makes yeah. much sense the way it's it flows together that what, makes what I just read. yeah 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 like, no, that's, bro, that's why i read the new king james bro i mean i look at all of them like i told you before mm -hmm. but you know, I want to understand it. I don't want to have to work out Shakespearean language. Well, and no, then work yes. Out, no, no, no. But then outside... work out Greek or Hebrew too. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying, my brother? Yes. Uh, nah, let me read it from, from the old one now, yeah? Mm. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, the beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth, sorry, yeah. 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let him have dominion over the fish the sea over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creep upon the earth so God created man in his own image own in italics yeah mm -hmm. um in the image of God created he him see stuff like that yes created he him male and female created he them and God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. So and the pause. Minute, yeah. Replenish means to, to do what? To like let's do look again. Let's, Read. Let's, not, let's, let's, let's just let's just go to the dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, that's it. Let's do it proper like. Let's do it proper like. But just breaking down the words. So anytime you see a re R E oh, yeah. in front of everything, it means to do again. Yeah, yeah. To, yeah, or it could be to cleanse, maybe. Hold on. Replenish, replenish. Fill, to fill something up again. Mm. Is the dictionary. So, dictionary. Well, so that denotes, Second. based upon the replenishing words, what was... To the... fill something up again. Yeah. So hold on. God said, God said, bless them, be fruitful, multiply. Multiply mm -hmm. and replenish. Yeah, so if replenish means... To fill up. Yeah. Yeah. Fill up. Ah, multiply. Yes. Yeah, you get it? Okay. Yes. All right, cool. This is why it's good to study. And yeah, we man. can get deeper. Because I'm if... in the I'm on the I'm anyway. on the I'm on the website. So we can go into actual the, the Hebrew word if we want to, but maybe that's a bit extra for now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll keep but, it surface level, man. We might lose some yeah, people yeah. if we go into bearish sheets yeah, so and uh, replenish, yeah. yeah. Yes. So to to fill the earth with with children, populate the earth basically, yes. yeah, mm -hmm. and subdue it to own it, yes. yeah, have dominion, dominion again, ownership, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, God blessed them and said to oh, sorry over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, you know, over. So yeah, we are the top of the food chain basically. Exactly. God ordained us to be the top of the food chain. God said, "Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed." All right, cool. So we know this which is to be upon the face of the earth and every tree, which is in the fruit of a tree yielding seeds. So meaning, you know, all of the fruit that bears seeds, that is the fruit that is safe for us to eat. Indeed. You know, that's fruit that's safe, safe for us to plant and consume. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it to, to be um, for you as meat, to you it shall be for meat. Yeah. And to Pause. every beast. Yeah. So let's examine that part. So yeah, in, man, in, that part. in today's society, when we're talking about meat and two veg, that's talking about eating meat to sustain oneself. It sounds yeah. like to me in that 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 in Bereshith Genesis, 
the Most High has said at this stage, you are eating fruit and vegetables, sibling? A hundred percent. They didn't eat animals at this time. hundred percent. Facts. Just like to bring that out, because some people, when I said bring that out, they're, they're looking at me all crazy, like, what are you talking about, man? Of course, we got, we got canines. Why do you think we got canine teeth for to eat meat? Yeah, no, that's facts. We didn't, you know, and even our canine teeth, you know, that might not necessarily be for us to eat meat. And even if it was, because our, the generations and generations have been eating meat, you know, <laughs> things do yeah. adapt. You adapt Indeed. to, you know what I'm saying? So we Adaptation. Yeah, adapted in that way because we turned into meat eaters. But nonetheless, people weren't eating meat at this time. It didn't rain at this time, as we already saw. Yeah. There was a mist, mist that came up from the ground that watered um, and, and, and nurtured the earth in that respect. So when Noah was walking, like, you know, a few chapters later in Genesis, when we see Noah telling people about it's going to rain and yeah. flood, yeah. they're looking at like, like he's crazy because like they, they didn't know what rain was. Yes. There. <laughs> That's <laughs> the, the yo. rain. That's the powerful yeah. thing, Soros. Like we, we're yeah. here in the Gregorian year of 2020, 2021, and mm. rain coming out the sky is a normal thing. Mm. When Noah was there upon the what upon the plain with Lamech and his and Noah, Shem, uh, Japheth, um, you know, and Ham, all mm. of a sudden, as you say, mist started coming up. And then water mm. from the illustrations that the show, you know, with that crazy whitewashed version of Noah, right? With <laughs> Russell Crowe in it. Water's, oh, I can crazy. imagine that shit. Water's <laughs> sprouts coming out of the down, out of the ground and shit, you know what I mean? Can you, can you imagine, bro? Mad thing. That would have been terrifying. Serious? Like, really if you really deep it still. So, um, so, yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on, going on, bro. Um. You know what I mean? And this is just the first few verses of the Bible. There's so much. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, there's so much. So much in there, bro. But um, I don't even know how we got into Genesis, how we started talking about where we are. Let, let's cap let's cap this part, this part of the build off then with um <laughs> have you read 26 then? Uh 126. Yeah, I read it in, in the old King James and in the new one. Read read it? read on until we get to add um the dust to the ground part then. If you don't mind. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Is that 27? Oh, uh, sorry. Cool. Thus the heavens and earth were finished and all the host of them. And then the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. These, hold on. These are the generation that was created and God made every plant of the field. Or every plant of the field. Is that what I just read? Did I read that? Yeah. Not a man filled the ground. The mist went up. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, the mist went. Planting of the garden. All right, cool. Yeah, verse six. But there went up a mist from the earth. Chapter two, verse six. A mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. So, you know, I think what we get from this is Genesis one is giving us like an overview of what God done. And Genesis 2 goes into a little bit more. So it goes into the creation of man versus Genesis 2 verses 4, 5, 6, and 7 talks about the creation of man versus 8 to 14 talks about the planting of the garden and, and you know, the fruit in the garden. Yes and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm. and the river you yes, me. exactly and, you know what i mean talks about that and then because it goes you know what i'm saying it goes deeper so yeah that's what i think happens so i think maybe that's where people might get first creation and second creation thinking that you know to separate you know mm. you know god made man and woman and then separate that from the chapter two where it says god made man from the dust of the yes earth. okay you know what I mean? it's the same event mm -hmm. but chapter two is 
just more detail detail oriented and okay so one is a bit of an overview so so rose how do we reconcile kane and his wife how do we get how do we get Uh, kane's wife from from all of this good so there's there's two ways we can do this one way is is interesting yeah now there were no law at this this stage remember that Mm -hmm. there was no law no israel Um, no law yeah or Israel, no law, no nothing like that, yeah. Um, now Adam and Eve, yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't just have Cain and Abel, we know that, right? Mm-hmm. We know they had Seth, um, yes. because that's the line that the Messiah came through, mm-hmm. yeah. But Adam and Eve would have also had other children. Adam lived to be, let me not guess, let me just find out how old Adam, Adam was, yeah. My point is, Adam and Eve had other children. Yeah, God told them to subdue the earth, Mm -hmm. to multiply. Yeah, God told them to multiply. Three children is not multiplying. So my point is, there wasn't a law. Adam and Eve had loads of other children. Um, It's quite possible that Cain had sex with his sister. Okay. So, all right, then. Well, what... Well, why would their children, their progeny, would why would they have left east and went east of Eden to create another society? I don't know. I don't have that. I, I, I mean, I'm just this is this this is something that is a thing. This is a this is a um, a um an idea. Yeah, that people hold to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah, some people hold to the to the saying that it's it was Cain's sister and have a whole way of how they land there. You know, like I just uh, I tried to say a little bit. I uh, think of it if Adam lived to be, I don't know, four hundred years old. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Think of how many children he could have had in generations of children. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? So Cain could have easily, you know what I mean? Like there was having kids. Like you know, Adam's all one hundred and fifty, and he's still having kids, kind of thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But well, so, the oldest oh, person was nine hundred and what? Nine hundred and thirty-two or something like that. Yeah, um, Methuselah. Yes. Uh, yeah, he lived to 900 and something. So my point is, within the generations and stuff, we don't know how old Cain was when he killed Abel yeah. and how old he was. You know what I mean? He could have been 250 years old. <laughs> Facts. Week, so, Facts. And, and, and had 250 brothers and sisters. Mm. We don't mm. know, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, so, yeah. So it could have been his sister. Um, it could have been like we're saying again, like we said before, the pre-creation thing, mm-hmm. that could be a thing, bro. I'm not dismissing it like it's rubbish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, that could be a thing. There could mm-hmm. have been worlds before um, before this world. Maybe the scripture in Ezekiel is talking like that. It is saying that, you know, Lucifer has been causing trouble from eternity past. You know, we don't know when he was kicked out of heaven. That could have been millions and millions of years ago. We've already established that's outside of time. So we don't know when that took, took place in time and space. You know what I'm saying? What we do know is that it happened. And then between that and us being here in this world and this time, we don't know what's going on. And so we don't know if there was other worlds before God created this world. And, you know, in the beginning, God created. That is the story of this world. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But God is eternal. So we don't know if there was worlds before this and, and yeah. how many. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. This might have all been done already, bro. Maybe God's doing the whole thing again and bringing more people to salvation within the realm of eternity. Bro, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm thousand just thinking, percent. we got to think about these things. Yeah. Like, like, bro, sometimes when you watch certain films, like, let's just say The Matrix, for instance, mm-hmm. like, you have to have a kind of certain conscious consciousness and imagination and thought process to even be able to get certain messages behind movies like that you know what i mean Mm -hmm. anyone can watch the movie Mm -hmm. and and get excited with the action and the the, the, the car chases or whatever Mm -hmm. but it's a different type of person now sees the inner meanings and the mechanical meanings and the subliminals of that you know what i'm saying it's the same thing here Mm -hmm. in in what we deal with with the scripture Mm-hmm. And 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 things concerning of the scripture. Do you know what I mean, bro? Yes. Um, yeah. It's deep, man. It's deep. Hey, sibling, I've taken enough of your time to 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 end off this build 
<clears throat> mm. Let's finish it off with um, a character you've just dis- uh, mentioned. Hashetan, Lucifer, mm. Satan, the the morning star, um, mm. Azazel. Uh, well, mm, mm. I think, yeah, that's the, like, are those all one character or are those different uh, demonic spirits? Um, yeah, I mean, some of the names you've said I'm not too sure of, but I know, you know, Lucifer, Satan, the mm. devil is the same person, you know, um, Beelze- Beelzebub is another one of his, yes. his, his names. Um, Moloch? Moloch, I think is Satan is his him too. But again, you know, by default, anything that is not of Christ is of is of Satan. So, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 where I land, bro. You know what I'm saying? He comes in many shapes and sizes and forms and sounds and yeah, and disguises. You know what I mean? He disguises himself as an angel of light. You know, he's in the church a lot. Yes. Sorry to say, he's in the church a lot. He's in places of you know that do you know good things? Yes, yeah, like those course. places a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, you know he's in the entertainment business a lot, as we know. You know what I mean. He, he's about the Bible describes describes him as the god of this world. You Indeed. know what I mean. Um, or in lion. So he's about, bro. Yeah, you looking know? to devour and devour, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like a roaring lion. You see, it's another little thing. Remember, yeah. Christ is the real lion. Exactly. Come from lion of the tribe of Judah. Indeed. So he goes around like a roaring lion. You see what I'm saying? He's always mm. trying to be like God. God says, I am, I am. He says, I will, I will. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He's, a, he's a pagan. He just wants worship and he wants to be the most high. He, he can never be. And that's he knows his time is up. He's trying to take as many people down as he wants with yes. him. And, and, you know, let's not fall for it. Yeah, <laughs> we can't, it's man. Fun. It's too late in the game for this year, man. And it, you know how disappointing it is for us to hear so many people, quote unquote, of the faith saying, yeah, man, I've had my second shot. Oh, yeah. Dude, don't get me started on vaccination. <laughs> what? What? It's, and I'm saying, know. hold up, hold up, wait a minute. You're, you're, you're the one coming to me talking about, ah, oh, you know, I'm going to church and this and that and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, where's the most high? You, do you believe yeah. in the most high, right? So, like, yeah. you, you, know what? Your... you know what? You know what? You know what, though? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, yeah, I don't want to put it on people as far as them, their thing with God and their vaccine, yeah? Because I know people who have the vaccine, bro. I do. And, and... <laughs> and you know what? I don't have, you know, I don't believe I can use scripture and 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 nah, 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 nah. not at all. So what I do do, I, I might play a little joke. You're right, yeah. As your arm fell off, or, or <laughs> I might run a little joke. They know that I'm not in a vaccine yeah, thing yeah, 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 for yeah, my yeah. reasons why. But also, this vaccination thing is a bit like politics. You oh, know yes. what I'm saying mm-hmm. it's sensitive. Very much so. Who you, who you talk to. It's like politics and religion. Like yes. This thing we're talking about, the whole Islam thing. You see, yeah, I mean, I pray I was respectful and it, it's all clean and nice and because mm-hmm. that's how you have to be Indeed. with some of these situations. Yeah. Politics, religion, and now it seems vaccinations, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. you got to, like, be, be careful about how you pick your words about vaccines if you don't want to offend people and, Indeed, yes. and, and make people fall out with you. You know, I don't want no one to fall out of me over my opinion about a vaccine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe we should be taking it. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what side effects it has. I don't believe it's the mark of the beast. Oh, but no, I no, do no. believe it's leading up to the mark of the beast. Oh, yeah. And all this, get your vaccine or no jab, no job. It's getting us used to a culture of mm-hmm. them saying, look, you need to take this or this is going to happen. And us running along like blind little idiots saying, oh, yeah, stab me in my arm. Oh, drop my other arm. Yeah. You want my bum cheek? Do you want, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. fam, keep your needles. God designed me in a way I'm fearfully, wonderfully made that if I feel sick, my body tells me. Yes. I don't need a vaccine. I don't need a COVID test. I don't need, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not anti-medicine. I'm not anti-doctor. No. You know? Far from it. I, I, talk, I do things with wisdom. I don't, as soon as the doctor says jump, neither. That's not what it's about. Mm. It's about listening to your advice 
considering, okay, well, do I think this is best for me? Asking the most high in prayer, mm. Lord, what should I do about the situation? Also, as well, always trying natural remedies first Indeed. before I go to any doctor. Mm. I'm trying the bush tea. Yeah. I'm trying whatever plant I can rub on, mm. boil, grate up, mm. eat, whatever it is first before I seek out some kind of, you know, um, pharmaceutical doctor um, <laughs> prescription. You know what I'm saying? Not that I write that off, but I want to do the natural thing first and foremost and pray and all of that first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not writing off doctors. I don't want people to think I'm anti-medicine. Anti and you know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm not, but I just believe if we're taking these things, we should take them with wisdom because they have serious side effects. Some of these pills that the doctors are giving out and antibiotic or whatever it is that they're giving us, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, if you need to take them things, take them but don't run to take them and definitely don't get addicted to them. You know, when, when you feel better, stop taking them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it is, yeah. As you said, look, it's a very touchy topic. Um, mm. I don't even, I, all I say to people is, look, do what's best for you. If you think that taking a foreign substance into your body is going to do you well, do it. But the first thing I would say to you is research it first research it man research what you're putting in your body not everything's a conspiracy theory you know what i'm saying some of them do have the cloned um aborted fetus i forgot male, what one it is it from a male pfizer? It pfizer? um pfizer i think let's two find of them? out what it is let's find out what it is and let's put it in the description because yes. we don't want to give out false information but one of them has you know what i mean some kind of aborted fetus cloned aborted fetus dna strand or something in it I don't want that in my system. For, nah, uh, my... From a from a, a, yeah. an infant Caucasian male. From, from infant any male, infant it? anybody. I don't want nothing in fam. I, That's cannibalism, fam. right? Um, Come on, man. Like th this is and they're saying, oh no, no, it's not haram to do it, you know, it's kosher, you know, it's fine. No, 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 no. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't, yeah, it's not for me. Um you know, like I said, I can't argue from the Bible that people shouldn't take it. No. So I, I don't try to. But, you know, just from a moral standpoint and and uh, and just for, like, <laughs> for, for our freedom, for our liberty, and just not, you know, not bowing down to the whole sort of, you know, and I'm, I don't want to promote the idea of, of rebellion neither, <laughs> yeah? Because that's what, not what the thing is about. The Lord told us, to obey the law of the land, yeah? But obviously, when the law of the land is doing things contrary to, yeah, to the either the law of God or to, you know, yeah, I guess, I guess the law of me looking after myself, you know, that's a commandment. Love, love your brother as you love yourself. So it's a commandment to love your brother. It's also a commandment to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so to love myself, mm. out of that, I'm not, putting certain foreign agents in my body fam mm. you know what i'm saying fam, i never smoked crack in my life i never took heroin and it, mm. you know what i'm saying yeah, i'm gonna go make them go inject me with this thing that I, nah bro man i'm all right fam and people are dying from it too or or indirectly or not directly i don't know but we're hearing that people are dying after taking it and people are being sick for two sick. weeks or you know, right bro like, I don't know, man. I don't see the sense in me doing that. I feel fine, so I'm going to go and take something, put it in my body, and then not feel fine. Sorry, I don't... That don't and, then, no and then also, sir, also be told yeah. that, that if you want, don't travel. If you've taken the thing, don't fly no plane. Yeah, you know? Interesting times, bro. It's interesting times. So we just got to watch this space, know that the Messiah is coming, the stage is being set, mm -hmm. um, the New World Order is fully in effect. You know what I'm saying? Things are popping up left, right, and center. You know, we, it's happening in real time in front of us, but we're distracted by all these devices that we've got in front of us and and, and distractions and lockdowns and yeah. diseases and Instagrams and, and, and TikToks and, you know what I mean? And then meaningless relationships um, <laughs> and then pasa pasa in our families. And then we're just distracted by so much stuff. Um, you know, we're, we're taking our eye off the ball, um, which is the Messiah's return. 
which is getting in right relationship with the Most High God through His Son Yeshua Mashiach and His sacrifice and His atoning death and resurrection and coming into right relationship and knowing what I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. It's wake up time, fam. That's why we're having this conversation. That's yes. why, you know what I mean? The Most High is raising up a lot of brothers, I mean, ancestors, you know what I mean? All over the world, um, there's a, there's a, there's a, universal awakening a mm. universal wokeness is taking place but it's just for us now to find the truth in the wokeness because there's a there's a lot of stuff to talk about and a lot of stuff happening and a lot of causes that we want to champion you know but ultimately the gospel is the most important because you know like we've already established we can't change this world you know, it's nice to have hold hands and sing songs and kumbaya and give peace a chance and all of that. And mm. but it's never gonna happen. Peace will only come when the Messiah comes. That is when true peace and restoration will come to this world. When you know where we're united with our Messiah and everybody else, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. You don't know nothing. So mm -hmm. now now's the time. It, it really is now out of out of love like i said a labor of love out of out of gratitude it's a free gift take it now rather than you know yeah this, <laughs> hey listen fun. when you're sure how much comes back it's not going to be not nice not nice for me nice. At, the, at the start at least let's flip that way at the start at least you know some yeah. some it would it would never be nice the judgment man i mean yes start, it's the beginning of of remember it's eternal it's not going to stop you know it's eternal we're like we're spiritual beings so uh, the spirit don't die you know so it's not like you're going to burn in hell for a thousand years no Man. you're going to burn forever mm. you're going to be in tour whether it's burning or torment I guess the burning is just a symbolic way to communicate to us that you're going to be tormented in a oh, way man. that you've yes. never been tormented in your life before all of your life forever and ever before you go on and leave you with this little thing someone was saying they said like i think it was a dream that someone had yeah and the person who um who had the dream yeah bro they was they was really really sick in pain with the sickest maddest cancer or something like that bro and they didn't care about god and all of that and didn't care about that and, that and then they died yeah bro and they went to hell bro and you see when they got to hell bro all they wanted to do was go back to being in pain, that pain that they couldn't bear of being in cancer and just that excruciating pain that they couldn't bear and they wanted to die. See, when they got to hell, they wanted to go back to being in that excruciating pain that they said they couldn't live with mm. in the dream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I thought that was a powerful illustration that, you know, your worst day it, in this world. Yeah. Yo, think if, if you can think of your worst day, the worst pain, the worst experience you're ever going to have. Yeah, that's the best feeling you're going to have in hell. Fam. Mm. Hell, ain't somewhere, hell ain't somewhere we want to be. Outside the presence of God is not somewhere we want to be. Definitely not. Yeah. This is why I do this, bro. That's why mm. I do this. To try and tell people, warn people about that. People think I'm crazy. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, for those who don't, and God uses uses the message and, and leads them back to himself. I'm grateful, man. Grateful. Every time, man. Every time we have to give thanks, man. Every time. Uh, another powerful, insightful build with the sibling. Um, links will be below. Make sure you go onto the Spotify. Peep the material. Study to show thyself approved. If you're already in the word, if you ain't in the words, pick it, pick the book up, pick the manuscript up, mm. you know, give it a try, read it for mm. yourself and don't allow people to read it for you and to dictate and, and try and like, you know, tell you what the meanings and the understandings are. You just, you definitely mm. need to seek wise counsel to get further understanding. Um, but technology is about, man. So also yeah, just man. demonstrated no it. We got no excuse, guys. None. None. None.
<laughs> no one. If you ain't so, got no internet, go outside one of them hotels and log on their Wi-Fi for my title. You ain't got no excuse, fam. None, none, none. Except, except for wanting. Because look, don't get it twisted. It's cool to be in blissful ignorance. Sometimes yeah. you, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure. on some days you feel like you, you, it, it can be overwhelming and sorts doing the research and and, oh, and trying to, you know, a lot all the time, bro. <laughs> be real. <laughs> Ain't no easy thing, boss. This is no easy not walk. Not easy. But Wait. I know it's it's worth it. Exactly. And I always feel, you know, you have those dry patches where it's just like it feels a bit like oh, I have especially when you dedicate yourself to something like teaching a Bible study every week. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because it forces you to have to study yes. every week. When some weeks you might not want to be studying like that. You know, you've got other stuff to study. I might be preaching at my church or leading something at work or so, you know, as well as I'm just looking at my Bible anyway for looking at my Bible's sake. Mm-hmm. But to have to commit to doing something every week without fail is, is you know, it can be, it can be um, hard to do sometimes. Sometimes you can be tired and think, Rah. sometimes you've got to push yourself. But I thank God that I, that I do. And I thank God for it because it's, it helps to keep me fit spiritually, bro. The more I'm in the word mm-hmm. is that, so, you know what I mean? It's good for me to be leading a Bible study online. It's good for me because I still do my other stuff, biblically stuff anyway. So, you know, it's just like, you know, yeah, I'm doing legs, I'm doing arms, I'm doing chest, yeah, I'm doing yeah, that. Yeah. Doing, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we're just exercising all these different muscles um spiritually um and 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 yeah man i pray god uses it bro <laughs> that's all you get me because it's not about being puffed up with knowledge i know all of this bible so i'm so smart again like i said before that's not what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to be faithful to the thing so i know it so i can share it faithfully and hopefully the, the spirit can can use that and like i said bro wake people up true indeed bro i see that mm. i actually get that now i didn't get that before but the way you just said that or what however it happens bro you know yeah. what i mean yeah man. facts facts mm. for those who offend these little ones which believeth in me mm. it will mm. be better for him yeah, that's a milestone a yes man <laughs> will hang hmm. about his neck and Cast he was in thrown the into the depths of the hmm. sea. Hmm. Warning You're before right. the destruction, my. Hmm. Make sure yeah, you man. um you go, you know, do the thing, man. Be the best person you can be. You know, seek and you shall find. Hmm. Definitely enjoy the conversation. Um, it's all about growth yeah. and development. I love where I am now, but cannot wait to get where I am going. Mm, amen. You know what I mean? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you ain't following Soros, make sure you go over to the Instagram, go onto the specify, as I say, uh, support the brother, man. You know what I mean? Like up the thing, share up the thing, mm. and let's get this culture, freedom, and righteousness. Let's get it.